Hey, welcome to the video. In this video, we're gonna be looking at 10 of the weirdest animals around, and we're gonna be discovering what makes them quite so weird. So, prepare yourself to be astonished at all of these amazing animals. We're gonna start by looking at one of the weirdest animals of all time. In fact, it's so weird that when it was first discovered, scientists thought that it was a hoax. They didn't think it was a real animal. Of course, I'm talking about the duck-billed platypus. Now, this animal is so odd that when scientists first saw it, they didn't actually see a living version of it. They saw a stuffed version of it. It had been preserved. And they thought, no, hang on a minute. This is a joke. This isn't a real animal. Because what they saw, they thought, was the body and tail of a beaver sewn together and joined up with the webbed feet and the bill of a duck. And they thought, no, someone is having us on. They are trying to take the mickey. They are really trying to trick us. But it turns out that actually the duckbill platypus is a real animal. But it doesn't just look odd. It gets even weirder. Now, the duckbill platypus lays eggs. Not too weird, you might think. But the duckbill platypus is a mammal like you and me. And as we should know, mammals give birth to live young. Not the duckbill platypus, which lays eggs like a duck would. So, you thought all mammals gave birth to live young? I'm afraid that's not quite true. But it doesn't just stop there with the weirdness. You see, the duckbill platypus is also a venomous animal. Most venomous animals we think of are things like snakes and scorpions. We don't think of mammals when we think of venomous animals. But no, the duckbill platypus is venomous. It has a spur in its back legs, which it can spike you with. If you get spiked by the spur, you're going to have the venom injected into you. It's gonna be very painful, not very nice. And you might think that's where the weirdness ends with this creature, but it just keeps on getting weirder. Because the duckbill platypus can detect electrical signals and it can do this to hunt its prey. So when any animal moves a muscle, Electric signals go into that muscle to make it move. The platypus can detect it and then hunt down its prey based on this electricity. The only other mammal that can do this is the dolphin. Now, if you thought we're done with the weirdness, there was still one final weird thing about the platypus. It kind of glows in the dark. If you put it under ultraviolet light, it glows with a greenish blue color. The platypus truly a weird and odd animal. Well, the duckbill platypus is so odd that I'm not sure it's gonna be possible to top it in terms of oddness and weirdness. So we're gonna go for perhaps a less odd animal, but a far cuter one in the wonderfully named pink fairy armadillo. Now these are the smallest armadillos that we know about, and they're a type of mammal that have a protective shell. Now that is very odd. Mammals generally do not have shells. We have skin, but the armadillo has a shell covering its skin. But what makes the pink fairy armadillo especially weird is that unlike other species of armadillo, it's got a covering of fur. So other armadillo don't have fur, but the pink fairy armadillo has a shell and it's covered with fur. And this is really, really important for it because it helps it to control its temperature. It also means that it can't go out in the rain as its fur getting wet is going to cause it to get far too cold and it's going to get hypothermia. The poor little thing, but it's cute. Okay, let's leave the undeniable cuteness of the pink fairy armadillo behind us. And let's go for something that's a little bit less cute and cuddly. Well, unless you happen to like giant crustaceans. In which case, who am I to judge? But our next animal is the Japanese spider crab. And it is an absolute monster of a crab. And it's their size that makes them so impressive. They have the largest leg span of any arthropod. Now, if you don't know what an arthropod is or what a crustacean is, then why don't you check out our videos on the animal kingdom and classifying living things, and you'll find out what these things are. But for our Japanese spider crab, its leg span is huge. It's getting close to about four meters, which is absolutely giant. It's far bigger than any other arthropod. But it's not just the length 
of these lace bands that makes these crabs so impressive. They can weigh up to 20 kilograms. So you're not gonna wanna get caught by their pincers. It is a truly odd and giant creature. We're gonna stay in the oceans for our next weird creature. And let's be honest, there are lots of very, very weird creatures in the ocean. But few of them are visually more stunning than the manta shrimp. Although the name itself is a bit misleading because it's not actually a shrimp. Now, what makes this animal so weird, however, isn't that it's colorful or that it's badly named, it's that it has the strongest punch of any animal. And they're incredibly aggressive and territorial animals too, so they like to punch things. And their front legs are essentially clubs that are tucked under its body. And when these animals are threatened, they can whip out these clubs, these appendages, at around 25 meters per second, which is incredibly fast, doing massive damage. And in fact, they exert so much force that the force they give out is about 100 times bigger than the mantis shrimp actually weighs. And in fact, they're so strong that if you put one of them in an aquarium with a nice strong glass wall, keeping everything in, the punch from the mantis shrimp is strong enough to break the aquarium itself. And if you're unlucky enough to be hit by one of these things, it's gonna leave a nasty bruise, perhaps even leave a bit of a cut. Not something you wanna be messing with. Looks awesome, but it's incredibly strong and incredibly odd. Okay, we're gonna be staying in the water for our next weird creature, but we're gonna be moving from salt water into fresh water for this rather bizarrely named creature called the axotl. Now, these creatures are odd for a number of reasons, and in fact, it might be one of the few creatures on this list that can challenge the dark bill platypus for the oddest creature. Now, the first really odd thing about them is that they are amphibians that reach adulthood without going through metamorphosis. Now, if you think about amphibians that are common like frogs, once they hatch from their eggs, they start off life as tadpoles. And these tadpoles have gills a bit like fish, and eventually they metamorphose into frogs. They change quite a lot from a tadpole to a frog and they lose their gills. Now, axotls never go through this process. And when they reach adulthood, they still have their gills. So they are amphibians that are adults with gills. Pretty odd. But that's nowhere near close to the most bizarre thing about them. No, an axotl has an amazing ability to heal itself when it gets hurt. And I'm not talking about producing a scar, which is what most creatures do, no. Axotls can completely regrow lost appendages and limbs, but their powers of regrowth don't stop there. They can regrow parts of their nervous system, so if they lose an eye, even if part of their brain becomes damaged, they can regrow it, which is absolutely incredible. And it probably won't surprise you to realize that because of these very, very weird abilities to regrow and heal themselves, scientists really want to study and understand how they do this so that we can develop medical technologies from it. So if you're finding this video interesting and enjoy learning about science, then check out our website, www.makescienceeasy.com. We've got loads of different courses and lessons teaching you everything you need to know about science to help you prepare for and pass all of your science exams. And as a special gift to you for watching this video, we're offering you the chance to save 50% on all of our courses. Just use the code MSE50 at the checkout. At first glance, our next weird creature, the cicada, doesn't look too strange. In fact, it just looks like another insect. But some of them have an absolutely remarkable life cycle that isn't seen in any other animals. Now, some cicadas are known as periodical cicadas, and as their name suggests, their life cycle is periodical. Now these animals spend almost the entirety of their life living underground as a nymph. And depending on the species, they remain underground for either 13 years or 17 years. And then after exactly 13 years or after exactly 17 years has passed, millions of cicada emerge from the soil in their adult form. 
and they all emerge at the same time. So for 13 or 17 years with no cicadas around at all, all of a sudden, millions and millions of them emerge at once. And they live above ground for a few weeks, they mate, they lay their eggs, and then they die. And the resulting nymphs will then remain underground for the next 13 or 17 years before emerging at once all at the same time. Now the time taken underground is always the same and we can predict exactly when each species of cicada will emerge again. It is truly bizarre that they can count time so accurately. And it's thought that this bizarre ability comes about for them to avoid predators to stop them being eaten. Horseshoe crabs are one of the oddest creatures alive. Even just to look at them, they look strange. It's almost as if they should be a fossil, as if they come from ancient times. And actually, that's not too far from the truth. Horseshoe crabs have existed virtually unchanged for almost 500 million years. Now, what this means is these creatures were around long before the dinosaurs existed, and they're probably also going to be around long after humans are no longer about. Now, although they're called crabs, they're not really crabs at all. In fact, they have much more in common with scorpions. But, despite the age, that's perhaps not the most odd thing about horseshoe crabs. The most odd thing is perhaps that their blood is not red. Nearly all creatures have red blood because of the haemoglobin in blood, but not the horseshoe crab. Their blood is blue because their blood doesn't contain iron and haemoglobin, but it contains copper, so it has a totally different compound in it. Now, their blood, as well as being weird and being blue, also contains a lot of other strange chemicals, some of which are really, really useful for doing medical tests. Because of this, scientists have harvested the blood of horseshoe crabs to use these tests. Now, some people may think this is cruel and other tests are being developed, but it's absolutely undebatable that these tests have probably saved thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of lives over the years. So because of this, the horseshoe crab is both an incredibly ancient animal, it's a very odd animal, and it's also a very useful animal. Pangolins are our next weird animal, and at first glance, these armor critters look like they are reptiles with their scaly skin. However, they're actually mammals, and their scales are made out of a substance called keratin. Now, keratin is basically the same stuff that your fingernails are made out of. So, pangolins are essentially covered almost entirely in the same stuff as fingernails. Now, pangolins are weird because they're the only mammal with this feature, and they look incredibly cool. Unfortunately, because of their very strange looks and just how unique they are, pangolins are being pushed towards extinction by human activity. It's incredibly common that pangolins are poached for their meat, but also for their scales, which are very valuable. And despite being totally inappropriate as a pet because they don't live very long in captivity, they are the most trafficked animal in the world. A truly sad story of such an odd and unique creature. Seahorses are our next odd creature. And they're obviously named seahorses because they look like horses and, well, they live in the sea. Now, while they may live in the sea, they're not actually related to horses at all, funnily enough. But they are, in fact, a type of fish, although they don't really look like fish. Now, seahorses are weird in a number of ways. The first is that, unlike other fish, they don't have scales. They have skin that covers bony scales. Also, they're pretty weird for fish because they're not very good swimmers. In fact, there's one species of seahorse that can only swim 1.5 meters every hour. That is pathetic, and you'd expect a fish to be able to swim just a little bit better. But in reality, none of that comes close to the weirdest thing about seahorses, and that is how they reproduce. Now, seahorses are so odd because it is actually the males that give birth and not the females. Now, the way this works is that the males have a pouch, 
and the females deposit her eggs inside that pouch where the eggs become fertilized and a little while later the male seahorse will give birth to a hundred to a thousand baby seahorses incredibly odd now seahorses and their incredibly close relatives the sea dragons are the only known species at all of any kind of animal where males become pregnant and give birth truly a weird creature our final weird animal is the anglerfish and their name pretty much gives away why they're so weird they're a fish that goes fishing now anglerfish like to live at the very bottom of the ocean and they essentially sit around doing very little, which isn't that different to most anglers, to be honest. Now, the bottom of the ocean where they live is pitch black. There is virtually no light at all. And the anglerfish have a fishing lure which dangles in front of their mouths. But it glows in the dark, thanks to some glow-in-the-dark bacteria which are living inside the fish. Now, this is the only source of light around and it attracts other fish or other animals that are living down there, the prey, towards the mouth of the anglerfish. And those prey will swim up to the law and they'll have a little bit of a nibble on it. And as they do, the anglerfish is going to open its mouth and gobble up whatever's trying to eat the little fishing law that it's laying out. Now, this isn't the only weird thing about anglerfish, though it is pretty weird in itself. One of the weirdest things is there is a huge size difference between the males and the females. Female anglerfish are over 50 times bigger than the males. Now, when a male finds a female, and this is actually a pretty rare occurrence because they're not very common and they're at the bottom of the ocean, the male attaches to the female and it attaches permanently like a parasite. And it never, ever lets go. And the female, being much bigger, can provide protection and can provide all of the essentials that that male needs to stay alive. The male, on the other hand, provides one thing and one thing only to the female. It provides sperm so that the female can fertilise her eggs. Truly an odd creature. I really hope you've liked this video on 10 weird animals. If you have, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you know of any other weird animals that we haven't mentioned, perhaps you know some other facts about these weird animals, then please let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out our website, www.makescienceeasy.com.